And so these are the items that are going to become very important for you for this test. Um, I put these little check boxes next to them because I like to, as we go through, I like to check them off. All right. So the heating curve of water, if you think back, the heating curve of water, if, if you're having trouble remembering what it looked like, it looked like this. Remember, we discussed the plateaus in the heating curve of water. So what should you know about the heating curve of water? Well, you should know where you find the solids, the liquids, and the gases. And you should be able to talk about these plateau areas and why one of them, the one up here, is much larger than the other one. Remember, we had a nice discussion about that. So know everything about the heating curve of water. That would be a page of notes with the drawing and everything labeled. If you had that, I think you would do fine with that part of the test. Then you can see, and let's check this one off, you can see that I have these three things here, okay? Freezing, melting, vaporization, condensation, sublimation, and deposition. Those, I know you know what they are, those are changes of state, and you should know what it means to freeze or to melt. And not just not just saying, Mr. Ashley, it's when, you know, liquid water turns into an ice cube. You should know about the kinetic energy change. Maybe think about the analogy that Tyler gave you of people at a concert to help you to be able to explain what happens freezing, melting, vaporization. Okay, so it's kind of more about can you explain what happens during those things? Where would you find that information? Well, that would be in the homework assignment that you did with the um, phase change video from Tyler DeWitt, all right? So notice I'm telling you where you're gonna find these, okay? So have that ready for the test. Melting point and boiling point, um, we just talked about melting point and boiling point, all right? Um, I want you to know about what affects melting point and boiling point. Um, definitely the amount of intermolecular forces, right? The forces of attraction. Um, will affect the melting and boiling points. You might need to know what the melting, uh, melting point and boiling point are for water at one atmosphere of pressure because we've been talking about it quite a bit. And if you go back and look at this heating curve, that information is on there, okay? Um, what is endothermic and what is exothermic? Not just the definitions, but be able to explain it. So if I said, um, water condenses from a gas to a liquid. This is said to be exothermic. What does that mean? And it's a multiple choice test, guys. So you'd have choices, but be able to read them carefully, okay? And be careful because sometimes I throw in an, uh, an option that says all of these are correct. So don't jump to a conclusion. Read them all. Take your time. You have the whole class to do maybe seven questions. All right, intermolecular forces, um, we just talked about that. These, are, these were the topic of the lecture that we just had. So I won't go into that too much because you have that. I would say just have that lecture ready to go. Uh, kinetic energy, okay, for each state of matter. And remember, that was a question from your homework, you know, gas phase, liquid phase, solid phase. Which one would have the highest kinetic energy, the, the, par the particles that are moving the fastest? Um, just know about the characteristics of a solid versus a liquid versus a gas. That was the beginning of the chapter where we talked about the crystal structure of a solid. We talked about the, uh, a liquid has to take the shape of its container. And in a gas, the molecules are so far apart, they don't even touch each other. And if they do, the collisions are elastic. Remember those questions? This is all, all the tests come from, from homework and lecture guys. So finally, what are the big ideas? The big ideas are what would cause a substance to change state? So you should be able to tell me at the end of this chapter, you should say, Mr. Ashley, I have a better idea of why things change from a liquid to a, uh, you know, a gas. Um, and, you know, in any way that, that works for you. So you could think of that analogy with Tyler and that might be as far as you got, okay? Or you may have really studied this and you might be able to talk about the intermolecular forces how, and how they affect that analogy. So it's different levels, right? Um, 
And how do intermolecular forces affect the change of state? We just talked about that. So these are the items that are going to come up on your exam. Okay, here they are right now. You might want to take a picture of it. You could screenshot it. Uh, you could take your, your phone out and take a picture. But this is what your test is going to be on. You can count on there being between, I don't know, six to eight questions. All right, guys? So it's going to be worth a little bit more than a homework assignment. If you're absent on the day of the test and you've been absent on other test days, like you're only absent on test days, if it's more than one, you will not get to retake this. But if it's your first one, eh, you can take it again, okay? All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this, this uh, review. Let me turn this off.